what does it look like in terms of implementing? How do I get started? Well, there's going to be a one-time setup task where you're going to need to create a custom Windows 2019 ISO. And so what do we use this ISO for? So this is essentially a self-contained Windows ISO that you're going to use to deploy what we call the console or the hollow console. And this hollow console has everything you need to run the VCF nested labs. So it has all the VLC software, all the JSON configuration files, um, and all the dependent packages like VMware tools and, and Power CLI and all those different dependent packages are part of that. And so the way we build this is you're going to go in and you're going to have a Windows 2019 uh, instance where you're going to download and stage the software into the downloads directory. You're going to go out and download the Holodeck software, which includes the VLC components. You can then go in and edit some of the JSON files for your specific environment. Uh, the most significant uh, of these is going to be the configuration file where you'll need to add your own license keys. And then once you've uh, staged th those software components, once you have the VLC software ready to go and you've updated your JSON files with your license keys, you're ready to go in, you run a PowerShell script, and it will go out and create this custom ISO. Okay. That's a one-time task, and once you have that custom ISO, you can reuse that custom ISO across as many environments and as many different ESXi hosts as you want. Then when you're ready to deploy your first nested VCF instance, you're going to basically go to your ESXi host where you can have ESXi 7.0 Update 3 installed, and you're going to start by creating a vSphere standard switch with an associated port group. And this is going to be an isolated switch. So every nested VCF lab is going to be isolated on its own virtual switch. So as you have multiple of these environments implemented, they're all isolated from each other. You don't have to worry about stepping on them. You don't have to worry about duplicating IP addresses. Um, if you want to go in and implement multiple instances and connect them, um, you will need to uh, update configuration files. And we have a router component that will allow you to do routing between them. But you're going to start by creating that vSphere standard switch with associated port group. Then you're going to go in and you're going to deploy that hollow console. The hollow console gets deployed again from that custom ISO that you built, and it's going to have everything you need to run the VLC and to implement the nested VCF labs. You will then go in and deploy the hollow router, which is going to provide that external network connectivity. Once those are deployed, you RDP into that hollow console and run VLC, and that's going to invoke a UI, and you just follow the prompts to point to the configuration files, uh, provide your necessary settings, and it will go out and create your nested VCF labs. And so it's pretty straightforward. Um, we have uh, another video you can watch that will give you a walkthrough of that process um, if you want to go to that. Uh, but in uh, about three hours, you can go from having an ESXi host to having a fully up and functional VCF nested lab using the Holiday program. So in terms of getting started, so you'll again, you'll need to have the uh, Holodeck archive, which includes the VLC files along with those configuration files. You'll want to get access to the deployment guide and then the, the associated labs. Uh, to do that, you can reach out to us on the VLC Slack channel. You can uh, email the Cloud Foundation technical marketing team at the address shown on the slide. And of course, you can always reach out to your VMware account team. So uh, hopefully you'll find this program helpful. And uh, I look forward to hearing from you and uh, good luck on your journey to implementing nested VCF labs with the VCF Lab Constructor Holodeck program. Thank you very much.